Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to learn how to make rock candy from a supersaturated solution of sugar and water. In a previous video, we learned that molar concentration is a measure that compares the amount of solute to the total amount of solution. And in that video, we learned that a saturated solution is one that contains the maximum amount of solute, so you can't dissolve any more solute. However, solubility is related to the temperature of a solution. So a solution that's saturated is really only saturated for that temperature. Raising the temperature of the solution will increase the amount of solid solute that can be dissolved. So you can dissolve way more solute solid solute like sugar into boiling water than into room temperature water. Now what's really cool about this is that if you carefully cool the solution back to room temperature, the solute may remain dissolved in the solution, even though that's way more solute that should be dissolved at that allowed temperature. Now this is called a supersaturated solution. It's a solution that has way more solute that should be allowed for a given temperature. All that extra solute is ready to come back out of the solution and turn solid again. Or in other words, it's ready to crystallize. For crystallization to occur, we need something to get things started like a seed crystal. A seed crystal is a solid piece of the solute that will encourage the excess dissolved solute to turn back into solid. It's almost like the excess dissolved solute needs to be reminded of what it looks like to be solid. So let's use these principles to make some rock candy. First, let's gather our materials. We'll need two cups of water, six cups of sugar, food coloring or flavoring if you want, a large jar, wooden skewers, and a clip to hold the skewer in the jar. First, you wanna make sure everything is really clean. Even a piece of dirt in the glass jar could act like a seed crystal and ruin our candy. Next, we wanna wet the wooden skewer and roll it in sugar. Set that aside to dry. The sugar will dry and stick to the wooden skewer and that will be our seed crystals. Now add two cups of water to a pot and bring it to a boil. Once the water is boiling, carefully add one cup of sugar, stirring until it's completely dissolved. Continue adding one cup of sugar at a time until you get all six cups of sugar dissolved. If you are using food coloring or flavoring, you can add it now and stir. Leave the sugar solution on the stove to cool for about 30 minutes. Rinse your jar with fresh water and then pour in the sugar solution. Lower the skewer so that it hangs a few centimeters from the bottom and then clip it to another skewer so that it hangs straight. Leave the jar somewhere safe and quiet so that it won't get bumped and come back in a few days. After a few days, Pull the rock candy out of the jar and set it in an empty jar to dry for about an hour. Now you can enjoy your rock candy. Thanks for watching.